Hello people, and welcome back to episode 4 of the City of Skylines build guide. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at some public transport stuff, which is going to be really fun. Uh, but I just wanted to cover a couple of off-camera additions that I have made away from these episodes. I've added in a couple of little um, greenhouses alongside the road here next to where the farm building is. And then I've also moved uh, my flour mill a little way further down the road alongside the cattle shed. Now something I forgot to mention last episode is that the flour mill does pollute. Uh, this building will produce its own pollution. So if we have a look now you can see there's a little radius that's coming off. It isn't massive, you can see it's not nearly as big as the as the garbage dump. So uh, sorry for forgetting to mention that and uh, I actually deleted a few of the trees uh, along here as well. Uh, because they were starting to die uh, amidst the pollution from the flour mill. So just bear that in mind if you're placing it near trees or houses. Uh, this building does produce pollution. Uh, and then over here, uh, we've added in a little more residential. You can see we just extended these streets out. It's nothing too impressive. Uh, we just wanted to satisfy a little more of that demand. In fact, we can probably satisfy uh, a little bit more as well. Let's go ahead and fill this one in. And that should allow us to carry on growing our city at a nice little rate. Uh, let's take this out here as well. So today, I wanted to actually draw in a district over here first. Um, so here where we built this little new uh, kind of park commercial area, I want this to be its own district. So I'm just going to paint this up and around the road. Remember your district paint tool will snap into the roads, uh, onto the kind of the snap point on the roads it will uh, actually lock into them so that's going to be useful for helping you map them out. I'll we'll probably have this little square in here as well. Now I'm going to apply a commercial specialization here and I'm going to apply the organic and local produce. Now this is going to produce 50% of all goods sold are produced locally. It's going to reduce truck traffic in the area by 50% it's going to increase electricity consumption by 20% and it's going to reduce garbage production by 20%. So it's good and it also is going to change the way our buildings look significantly. So you can see as soon as we apply that specialization just by left clicking on the area, our new kind of locally produced buildings are going to start spawning in and these things are really nice. Um, they don't have levels like the regular commercial buildings do. So see if we grab one right here. So you know this place has three levels and it'll go up as it receives different services. Uh, these things are just one level for one thing. Which is a little disappointing but it's not the end of the world. Uh, and it can really add a nice feel uh, to your town. And I'm going to add in a couple of trees here I think. Um, where we have a little bit of uh, a gap here just to kind of introduce people. As they come down this road, you now this is a nice green area, and there'll be a there'll be a lot of nice things around here. But rather than developing kind of the outskirts of this here, I wanted to work on our public transport today. So last episode we unlocked bus lines, which is fantastic news. We have the bus depot, and we also have the Battlefield bus depot. So Battlefield buses, um, they're essentially just the green version, um, and they're a lot quieter, but they can carry just as many people, um, and yeah. So there's very little difference. Um, if you kind of go for that green city feel, uh, then you probably want to go ahead and grab the biofuel buses. Uh, I'm going to pay that and take it. And that's going to allow us to have 70 grand again. So I'm just kind of thinking where I want my bus station to lie. Um, or the bus depot rather. So this thing does produce noise pollution. So you don't really want it like here in and amongst your residents because they're going to start getting... Um, sick from noise pollution, which isn't really what we want. So I think the bus depot would probably be served well. Now, once you place the bus depot, the buses will just come out of it once and then they're on that line forever. And if you ever increase the number of buses on that line, then they will simply come out of this building. So it doesn't need to be in a particularly st strategic location. Um, so I think I'm just going to place it right over here uh, next to our power plant. And terraform is a little dodgy, but uh, it's not too bad. We can deal with that. So now we have a bus depot. You can see it's not enough water, so we need to make sure this guy is all watered up. There we go. And it currently says buses in use zero, which is totally fine because we haven't made any bus lines. So coming back into our public transport tab here again, we have our buses where we place the bus depot from. 
Uh, we also have a couple of bus lanes and bus kind of bus roads. We won't be using them in this part of town. We'll use them in our cities um, when we get to kind of the downtown areas. But for right now, uh, we don't really need them. So a good way of kind of developing a bus system in your town is to kind of think where would people want to go? What do they need to get to? So for example, they would need to get to work if they're working in the farmland. Uh, they may need to get down to the high street and the park to enjoy some free time and do a bit of shopping. And they may also want to get to school as well. We have a couple of schools in the park now. And then they may also want to head over to our brand new kind of green renewable uh, buildings district here. So let's go ahead and kind of map out where we want our first bus line to go. So I'm going to start it probably here. Start bus line here, so I'm just going to right click and that's going to place the first stop. Now I think I'm going to have it come right in front of Schwartz Park. Now, a good rule when you're creating your bus lines is to kind of leave a two or three block distance in between them, in between each stop. Otherwise they become a little bit too frequent and they're going to start clogging up your roads. So I'm going to have one, yeah, probably here we've got kind of a little block there. So actually maybe delete that and push it up to this block. And then where else would be a good shout? Let's bring it down in front of the gardens. And you can see all of our residents and commercial buildings are getting smiley faces as we place a stop near them. Uh, and that is going to cause their happiness to increase, which will increase their level. And I think probably about here. And that should tighten up nicely. So I've got a couple of stops now around a little route here. This is just going to be a small, maybe two or three buses on this single line. We'll see how busy it gets. Uh, and then I'm going to mirror a stop here. And then he can just come back to this first one we placed. Uh, the bus will automatically find the route down these roads. You can see it does it there. And then I'm going to complete the line. And that is going to give us our first public transport line of the city, which is fantastic news. Let's zoom over to our bus station. And we'll start to see now that the buses are coming out. I'm going to go ahead and click on line details on the bus. And there's a number of things we can do here. We can change the colour. So I think I'm going to go for a nice bright green bus and it's also a model you can pick the model and um, with the campus dlc they did add school buses in but it's up to you if you want to go into that model i'm just going to leave it the default one and uh, the battlefield bus does has a different does have a different model uh, but you need to place the building within your city to, in order to, for that to be unlocked the battlefield biofuel bus depot and um, so right now there's six buses on the line i'm just going to bring this slider down a touch and make that four and then we'll see how it performs uh, in terms of how many passengers are actually trying to use it. As we zoom over now where we place and we can see we've got some little bus stops waiting here. And there's already some people waiting uh, to get the bus. So let's wait for the first bus to arrive. Here it comes. There we go. And let's, uh, let's tag along for a ride. If we click this little button here, we can follow the bus. Let's, uh, let's see what he gets up to. This can be a really nice way to tour your city. And you can see there's already a lot of people here waiting at the bus stop right outside the park. They're going to get on. And we can already see that there's people left at that bus stop. But once the buses have done a, a few rounds of the route, uh, they will eventually clear the bus stops. Um, and if they don't, then that usually means that you need to add more buses uh, onto your line. Here we go. There's more people here. See all these people getting off. So the good thing about buses is they really reduce the amount of cars on your road. You think if all those people had to drive, then the towns and the roads would be a lot busier. There's more people here. And then there we go. Now I'll have to see how I feel about the buses flowing through the farm. We may have to make them their own little dedicated turnaround. But otherwise, that is a nice little bus route. And that's going to see people get around the city a hell of a lot easier. So let's go ahead and pause the game and take a quick look at our lines overview panel. And you can find that just by clicking on any bus, lines overview, or you can also click into your info tabs, click on the public transport, and then lines overview is also here as well. So I'm gonna name this bus line. Now this is going from um, Ivy Farms 
over to Victoria Hills. So I'm just going to go Ivy Farms to probably we'll be able to get Victoria Hills in here. Yes, we can. So now that bus line has a name, and when I'm looking at this, because eventually as your city grows, this list will become pretty massive. So having them named out and kind of appropriately titled is going to be really helpful for you in the long term. So just try and keep on top of it if you can. Um, it's not always the easiest. Uh, but anyway, we have a, a new symbol that is now showing up in the city. A little skull and crossbones. And this means that someone has died, unfortunately. So we're going to have to place them a cemetery. So let's pop into our healthcare tab. And here we have a cemetery. So this is going to cost us $160 a week to maintain, which at, the, at this moment in time we can more than afford. It's going to cost us eight grand to place. Uh, and I think I'm going to kind of, again, just to kind of help this stand out amongst the rest of the city, I'm just going to place this a little ways on its own, just like that. So there'll be no residential um, on this road here. And uh, we can probably... Have I got some too deep houses here? I do. Let me delete those. There's no need for those houses to be there. And repaint that in. There we go. We've got some nice big houses in now. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. And let's make a little bit of kind of a tree feature with some maybe some nice rocks, perhaps. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. And then do the same here again. Now to go ahead and draw up this road so we make sure we don't delete our trees when we've placed them in for five. And let's grab some of our smaller trees and do a little bit of a decoration up here. And when we also mark the crematorium, which is going to help to empty your cemeteries, um, we're going to have a nice bit of kind of, I suppose the term will be death care. Uh, as to where our citizens go to rest once they have perished. I'm just going to bring these around the corner of the road. Just like that. And it's nothing too fancy. But again, it just helps to separate. Like, you know, this is something different. It isn't just more housing. Uh, and then a cemetery nearby is also going to cause all our nearby houses uh, to become happy. And because of that, they will also level up again. So right now, we have more massive uh, residential demand. So I'm just going to carry on mapping out my streets here. It's actually not really what I wanted from that one. Let's bring this guy up. Okay. And then we're going to paint this in. All the way along here. And then that's probably as far as I am going to place my residential in this part of town. I don't want these two block houses here. I'll leave those corners empty. Uh, because we are approaching another spot of farmland, which I will want to do something with eventually. Uh, so for right now, that is going to remain empty. We also have an icon over here. Now this is going to be complaining of that there isn't enough workers in the city, which is totally fine for right now. Uh, it's because the residential demand is so high, it's just that there isn't enough people to fulfill uh, all the jobs needed. Uh, which is totally fine. This, uh, these new people will uh, be able to satisfy that demand. We do have a little, little person on fire, but the fire engine is there to uh, save him, thankfully. So we now have this roundabout here, which we placed last episode. I want to kind of figure out what is going to become of this. So I know I want to build a bit of a commercial frontage uh, right along this beach here and have a bit of a ferry depot and that's going to look really cool. So I think I'm going to go ahead and map that out now. I'm going to come out straight from this road. Let's have a look how far we went out there by 400. And then I will upgrade this into some of the fancier tree roads when we do eventually unlock them. Uh, but for right now it's going to remain as the regular road. I'm just going to come out, snapping tool off, and then I'm going to go pretty free form with this now. So I just want to have it coming along the back of the beach, up to about there. And then I can probably connect it up to this highway as well. Now that won't remain the final connection. Uh, I will change that at some point. 
I think I'm actually going to connect this road up to here, straight through this guy. That seems to be okay. That's going to give them another connection to get on this bypass road, uh, which is getting a little bit of usage, which is nice to see. See this, uh, and this is exactly what I wanted to use it for. So the reason I built this road was so that the garbage trucks can come up and down here and not have to fight their way through town uh, to get onto this side of the map. They do just have easy access on that bypass road now, which is great. I've also added in a couple more trees over here, uh, up on the hill, and then over on this side as well. We do have a little stone circle over here, which is nice. And there's one here as well. It's kind of like a little castle ruins. We can maybe make some kind of tourist feature out of that, or a walking trail. That might be quite cool to do at some point. So let's head back to mapping out our kind of beachfront, which I'm hoping to work on. Uh, next episode, we're not too far away from lock unlocking the leisure specialization buildings now, um, which is what I want this place to be made up of mostly. So this is probably going to come out to about, probably about there is a sensible location. Um, and then we're going to kind of come in on a bit of a turn here, I think. How's that looking? Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm going to bring this down. That uh, connection's a little bit strange. Let's delete that. There we go. And I'm just going to kind of map out what's going to be happening on this, on the rest of the island here. And at some point, this place, this road that we've just placed, will probably be upgrade, upgraded into a high-speed road so there's a nice fast access around the island and we can now see how things are starting to take shape and we know we're, we're planning for the future here it's always good to do that okay let's kind of connect to the rest of the infrastructure that we have been doing it's fine if you're deleting houses as you're doing this uh, we easily have the demand to get them back and we can now see as we come to place our water, we are very nearly at full capacity. So there's two things that we can do to counter that. We can either go into our economy, come into our budget, and we can remember we decreased the water budget quite a long time ago. And as we come into our water demand, that's going to fire back up, um, and then it's going to kind of solve all our problems, really. You can place more water pumps, but it's going to be more financially sensible to have them uh, just put the budget back up to full again. Okay. Very nice. Let's have a little look around the city, see how things are going. So we've got a lot of these original households here, kind of hovering around level 3. Some are just breaking into that 4th level. This one's very nearly at the 4th level. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them something from the parks and plazas. Uh, icon in order to help level them up a little bit more and again if you remember rightly that's going to give us the ability to make more money and also house more sims so maybe here might be a nice little spot for a carousel let's go ahead and place that in we can see they're all going to fire off so we have a couple of little red areas here some of these houses are red and that means that they're not really near any kind of park or recreational facility so they aren't particularly happy about that so let's go ahead and see if we can find one for these guys as well there's a small playground here and uh, there should be a nice little location where we can squeeze this in there we go and as we place it we get a lot of happy faces and then for these guys that are like teetering on the edge of their second level this should be enough just to push them over that next threshold see there's one upgrading in the background over here this guy's gone up. I just heard another upgrade sound. See, there's another one. So you can kind of see how you place these buildings. Uh, they do eventually begin to kind of have an effect on the surrounding buildings themselves, uh, which can be great. So I did want to actually build something here as well. Let's delete these two tree stumps, and I want to kind of add some more redwoods in here, since it seems to be the feel. There we go. Oh, that is so much easier with the mod. <laughs> I don't know how I played Fremwood without that. That would have been so handy. 
So I'm, what I'm doing there is I'm just going to try and block off a little bit of the view from the highway. It's going to make this feel a lot more residential. They do still have a way over, or have a, a view f through rather, but it isn't as a uh, as intense. And I think these guys, yeah, they do have a connection up through here. Maybe we could also draw them another path, uh, just so it's easier for them to maybe get to the bus station from this side of town. There we go. Now they're going to be able to cross pretty simply. There's no trouble at all. Okay. Let's have a look what else we unlocked uh, in the last milestone when we hit Boomtown. So we did unlock level 3 buildings. We also have a post service as well. Um, now I'll go into post in a minute. Uh, but we also unlock recycling as one of our new policies which is going to decrease garbage accumulation. That can be useful to implement when you start getting garbage pileups around your city and you maybe don't have the budget or the room to drop in on another landfill site. Um, I did also drop in uh, another rec a recycling centre. Uh, and this place is going to pull garbage reserves out of the landfill site and actually use them um, for producing raw materials, which is you know what a recycling centre would do uh, in real life. So they can be pretty cool. They're not cheap. You probably want to wait till you hit a couple of milestones before you place one of these things in. Uh, but they are they are pretty useful. Okay. So let's have a look here. We do have a lot more residential demand, so let's go ahead and start meeting some of this now. I think I am going to put residences along the back of the highway. We do have them in England, where you can kind of uh, drive along a highway, or what we would call a motorway, and um, see houses as you're driving past them, or alongside them, rather. There you go, let's have some houses in there. Uh, we've got room for a little strip in here as well. Is everyone watered up here? Not quite. Let's bring this guy up to there. And then let's develop a little bit of... Uh, do we have our snapping on? No, we don't. Let's develop a bit of a road down here. Back onto the main road. You know, I'm probably not going to connect that there. It's not a great idea to have so many connections on a main road and since this is going to be flowing into our kind of downtown beachfront area for this island I don't really want too many connections so we're going to do a little bit of traffic manager stuff on that road in a moment uh, which I'm sure you are all tremendously excited for let's go ahead and bring this in and just start to map out more potential residential squares uh, let's go ahead and fill some of this stuff in over here. Let's get rid of the odd shaped ones. Don't really want those. And then again, all the way along the back here seems pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and place a couple of trees in here as well. Uh, maybe on the corner here. Again, just where you took out those spaces. Uh, it can be a nice idea just to pop some stuff in. I'm also going to go ahead and do a little bit of path making. Um, for our citizens. We'll have one, can't do that one just yet. Uh, let's have one right through here. Again, this is going to allow people to walk around a hell of a lot easier. Uh, let's have one that comes down here and actually cuts straight through. Of course, as I'm trying to do that, Someone builds. There we go. Cool. Uh, and then maybe one here as well. And then there. Okay, so we're getting a little more commercial demand right now. I think I'm going to be happy to have um, a high street develop up along here. I think. I think that would be quite nice have on there and I don't really want anything on this road here I don't think uh, let's have some buildings along the back of the biotanical gardens and probably along the sides as well that's just gonna help make it feel more of a feature as stuff begins to surround it so now that these uh, green renewable buildings have come in you can see that they, they just look a lot sweeter uh, I'm really happy with these buildings are a shame they don't have different levels, but uh, you know, nonetheless, it's still 
It's still new buildings. Okay, so I'm kind of undecided what I want to do with this area here. I don't know whether just to forest it over. I don't want this island to be too densely populated. Um, let's go ahead and kind of map out a little bit of a, a woodland behind it. Yeah, so this island isn't going to be kind of mega dense. It's just going to be, you know, a cute little island where people can come to party. You can maybe catch a ferry over to it. It's nice and green and renewable, and we have no power, which is totally fine. <laughs> so now it's time for a new power plant. But you can, again, you can to fix this. You can go ahead into your power budget and increase it. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and buy another power plant uh, and stick that alongside our current one. Now, we will make a little bit more of a fuss out of where our power comes from in the city. Um, as we expand, we'll make kind of like a nuclear complex that's kind of has a lot of security around it and it's out near the mountains. And, um, you know, just in case it blows up, it isn't near anything. Uh, but for right now, just for supplying what is a very basic town with power, uh, just bobbing them in along here will do for right now. Already, how much more interesting does that look? Having, having like the real dense woodland behind all the nice green renewable shops. It really helps to bring the island to life, even though there's actually no life in there. It's just trees. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on plugging away. At some of our residential demand right now. That should be enough to expand in one go. Let's kind of have a look at our services right now. So people over on this side of town could possibly use their own fire station. Um, we can't afford it. They are pretty expensive. Uh, but you can see there's a lot of uh, lack of coverage over this side. There's also a lack of coverage of water as well. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our fire station. I think I'm going to pop this uh, right on the high street. It seems like a good place. We'll actually get on perfectly within that gap. And again, because we've placed another service building now, as we allow time to pass by, you can see all those little green arrows firing off in the distance. Which means more le more residents, more taxpayers. Uh, let's bring this guy up here a little. You can see that there. Uh, satisfying pipe network starting to take effect now as we expand <laughs> super inefficient but i like it okay let's get some houses in along here i uh, don't really want any there that's totally fine uh, we can place some trees in here maybe let's bring the brush size down to single and strength up let's kind of place a few in there a few more again as well. Uh, when we get into kind of the higher downtown areas, we'll do a little bit of backyard detailing uh, with some fences and different kind of objects you can use to do that. So all these places are slowly getting deliveries, which is good news. I do like the way this kind of highway looks quite industrial as you're driving out of it. And that's going to be uh, producing a lot of money for us now. 748 so far. Uh, we could do with a couple more uh, places to work in here. But for right now, I'm not really bothered if this farm doesn't get to level 5. It's only meant to be small and um, provide a little bit of income uh, for those people that are around here. We do have some more fertile land here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of our dirt roads. Right about here, or maybe here. No, has to be here, doesn't it? Okay, can I bring... Hey, and we hit Busy Town. Fantastic. Uh, so with the next milestone, we have City Planning Policies. Uh, level 4 unit buildings, Leisure and Tourism unit buildings, which is going to be used in a lot of when we build the beach. Uh, oil Industry Specialization, Tourism Specialization. And then uh, a bunch of new policies, uh, which we'll go over as we apply them. Uh, and then some fancy new roads, uh, which will help look our city a lot nicer. We also have some new buildings with uh, the bigger police station, bigger fire station, and a new power plant. And then a hospital, some more gardens, a, a bus station as well. I don't know whether I'm going to put a bus station on this island. It's probably a little too small for a, a huge dedicated bus station like that. Uh, and then a bunch of other stuff as well. 
that we can use. So let's go ahead and look where this fertile land is. That seems to fit in perfectly. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our industry area tool here and just make sure it's painted up as much as possible. And then I'm going to go and have. couple of small fruit fields, how about that? And then I do need to redraw in my fence now. Uh, fence is right at the end, I believe, yes it is. Uh, we do also have a small barn, um, which is a storage solution uh, for crops, but we're not producing that many right now to the point where uh, we need to start storing them, so it's not really uh, a building we want to be placing. It's just kind of money. Burning money that we don't really have. Uh, let's bring this up to the corner. And then from here as well. I'm just going to go ahead and freeform the rest of this fence around the edge. Up to there. Cool. Super. So now we've got some nice little. Let's go ahead and delete that. And that. And then this guy as well isn't using any of those zoning squares. So we've got some nice little kind of like orchids um, opposite our residential spaces now, which I think looks quite nice. Uh, let's have this guy coming up here. And then we're going to decorate this with a couple of kind of small looking trees. Already, that's just a nice way to fill in that empty green space. We're going to be producing some more crops here as well. Which again, these guys are going to head straight out onto the highway and export, which is going to make us more money. Um, and that is going to give us the capacity to hit the next level, uh, which I'm not too bothered about, like we said. But um, it is just going to allow us to increase that little bit extra. Uh, so let's have a look at some tourism buildings right now, um, which I believe are tourism and leisure. So there's a casino, a driving range, a fantastic fountain, a luxury hotel, and a zoo. Now these are all pretty big buildings. These aren't the kind of things you want to be placing uh, in an island like this. You can see that just sticks out like a sore thumb. Uh, so we won't be using them just yet. The thing that we will be using um, a little bit is the tourism specialization because um, it's going to attract tourists. However, it also turns our tourists, our commercial buildings, into enormous uh, hotels if they're the wrong size zoning. So I don't really want to place them here. Maybe just a one thin block zone, like something like this. And um, we can maybe show an example. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab a new zone tool. Uh, I'm just going to create a little zone here. And then I'm going to give this the tourism specialization. So any commercial built within this district is going to become a uh, tourism based commercial. And we do have the demand, so I'll wait for that to grow. Shouldn't be too long. We are getting a couple more levels off here now. Really starting to fill out the island. It won't be long before we move on. And I'm thinking that we're going to head... This direction seems pretty interesting. But I think really, probably over here, and then out towards this way. I'm thinking that the downtown is going to be produced around these shores here. And we'll have the big river flowing through and have the um, the estuary. And have some kind of nice dramatic bridges flowing over is what's going to be happening. And Abbey Farm has reached level 3, which is going to give us a lemonade factory, a milking parlour, and two more medium fields. Uh, lemonade factory. Yeah, we can talk about that in a minute as well. Uh, but for right now, we have our first hotel, and this is the Best Eastern. Um, and you can kind of see, you know, it's a little bit. It's too big, isn't it? I don't like these kind of buildings. Uh, they do look good when you're in the downtown area. Uh, let me know what you guys think of these. Do you think we should have them here? I'm not the biggest fan, but if you guys want them, uh, then that's okay. So if we delete that now and then strip back. 
those zonings, so the zoning squares are only one block deep. Um, maybe two blocks in different places. We can see what kind of different shape buildings uh, we'll actually generate from that. So we'll leave that to grow for a little while. Uh, I wanted to have a look at some traffic lines and stuff um, along this road right here. So right now there's far too many traffic lights. This intersection here is going to be mega busy. So I'm happy for traffic lights to stay here. Uh, I'm probably here as well. And that's going to be flowing okay. Uh, this one will have no traffic lights. And I'm going to actually have to put... Um, the stop signs in here that's fine so anyone coming down this road here is going to have to stop and wait and give way but coming through the main road they're going to be allowed to flow straight through you can see now that there's cars come in these guys stop and give way but these guys are straight through because this road isn't particularly busy the one that cuts through but this one the main road is so that's going to allow them to flow a lot easier through and it's going to give us a lot less traffic problems in the future. So here we go, we have our first one block commercial in. Uh, and again you can see these are the same as the renewable energy commercial buildings, they only have one level. Um, I mean, this is a little restaurant and it says natural fresh meat, which is a little bit of a strange slogan to put right on the front. You'd think you'd have the business name there. But, um, no, it's a lot smaller. It's a lot kind of small townish vibe. So you can imagine uh, a strip of these uh, right along this road uh, facing out onto the beach. Uh, in my opinion, would be a little more realistic than, than the giant ones. So let me know how you guys want to see that big commercial area develop. And we can um, kind of do something to implement that. Uh, we do have a little more industry demand, but I think I'm going to save that industry demand uh, to talk about the forestry areas, uh, which we'll cover next episode. And I think if we just have a look, yeah, we can actually go ahead and purchase this next tile. Uh, and then actually look further over here. And I think, you know, this place is right near a highway. It's got a really sweet interchange going on. I really like that. Um, and we can actually extend it out this way. So we can build a little bit of a forestry commission in and amongst here. We do have the resource. Um, although you can actually place it. If I was to go ahead and grab my brush tool. And kind of fill these trees out here a little bit. You can see it's now a lot more denser colour of green. And that's going to allow us to do some nice tree farming. Uh, before we finish up, let's have one last check on how our buses are doing. You can see right now there's 143 people waiting to be picked up at this bus station and our buses aren't really at capacity but even if they were they still wouldn't be enough to clear 143 so i'm going to add in three more buses and then as we make that change remember they're going to start pouring out of our bus depot here we go one two and three and then they're going to enter the circulation of the bus route and begin to pick people up. So we'll see them now. They're going to come down. There'll be a little bit of a backup until they stagger and uh, kind of space themselves out evenly around the route. But even now, we're going to see this bus station uh, clear as the new empty buses uh, come and pick them up. But it's good to see that they're getting use. Uh, I am kind of glad to see that. But otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like below is very much appreciated, and equally as much if you didn't enjoy the video, or you don't like these kinds of videos, or kind of City Skyland in general, feel free to leave a dislike as well. Now, I am really enjoying this series, and I, am, I know I'm taking it slow, um, but you know, this series is going to be running for a long time, it's going to be a lot longer than from whatever was. Uh, you know, last episode we hit, well last series we hit 45 episodes, and I'm expecting to probably triple that with this series. So we're going to take it nice and slow and hopefully you guys are getting some inspiration from this and uh, kind of figuring out how you can use a nice little small bus line this episode as well as getting some ideas for just kind of expanding your town slowly and making sure that your services and kind of commercial fronts can handle uh, the influx of residents as your city grows. Well guys that's it, thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you soon and enjoy the rest of your day.